This training video was developed by the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading in the UK and is part of a range of resources aimed at researchers. This particular video introduces the concept of a data and document store. During the lifetime of a research project, there is a need for a shared storage area for project data and documentation. This can be easily turned into a public archive at the end of the project. We have coined the phrase data and document store, or DDS, to refer to such a shared storage area. Before the advent of the internet and computer networks, researchers would store their data and documents on standalone PCs. This worked fine for small projects with one researcher, but as projects became larger and teams developed, you often had the situation with each team member holding some but not all of the documents and data for the project. You also ended up with duplication and various copies of files with no one really knowing which was the most up-to-date. In short, there was a mess and archiving at the end of the project was just too daunting a task so wasn't done. Sadly, some still work like this. A DDS is a central storage area for project data and documentation. So instead of the data and documentation being divided among the researchers and no one really being sure what is where and which is the most up-to-date, everything is stored centrally and all project members have access. This doesn't stop a researcher taking a copy of part of the data to work on separately, as long as they know that any updates must be made to the central store. One disadvantage of a central store to which everyone has access is that it can easily become a dump, and dumps are a nightmare to sort out. Think back to times when you've attempted to tidy your desk or your filing cabinet, and imagine how even more frustrating this could be when everyone was dumping paper on it. To help avoid a dump, you might consider appointing someone as the custodian of the DDS. Data and documentation go to and from the DDS via this person. An alternative would be to give everyone read access, but only give write access to the custodian. Where you store your DDS depends on the resources and local skills you have available. The simplest solution is to have a shared network drive to which all team members have access. Another option is to use a web-based DDS, either creating a website that contains all the project data and documents, as done by the InnoMIP project in the Andes, or using a web server to store and view a series of folders and their contents. Another option is to use something like Dropbox. This is a service that allows you to store and access your files from anywhere and to share them with anyone you choose. Dropbox is free for up to uh, two gigabytes, but you would pay for anything more than that. Another option is Dataverse, which is a site housed at Harvard University, though this is more of an archiving facility. However, if you have a well-organized DDS throughout your project, then creating a Dataverse and uploading your project files to archive is relatively straightforward. Another option is to use Moodle. The SSC has allocated space on their Moodle site for each CCRP project. And here we see the CCRP projects for the Andes region. In later videos, we will show how this works. The Data and Document Store is a system to help you keep all your project files together in a central location. A well-organized DDS means that team members can always access the latest documents and data, and data integrity is preserved. Archiving at the end of the project is made easier and quicker. But remember, there is no special software involved and there is certainly no magic wand to organize your files. As a team, you must decide on the structure of your DDS and ensure it becomes a useful resource and not just a file dump. 